Welcome back to my channel, y'all. Today we're doing step-by-step -step seafood boiling. Oof, y'all, look at this. When I say seafood, I'm talking king crab is so good. So let's get into it. So I used red potatoes, small red potatoes, and some people leave them whole, but I will cut mine up using smoked sausage, any kind of sausage will do, one small yellow onion, um, four tablespoons of minced garlic, and then I use one third cup of all purpose seasoning, and then one fourth cup of Old Bay seasoning, and then I also threw in five uh, bay leaves just to give the broth a little bit more body. And then um, once it gets going, I'm gonna add in a stick of butter later, and then um, boil it in this stock pot. Um, I filled it about three-fourths of the way um, just to give it enough room because you don't want it to overflow. And then once it gets going, I'll later add in my mussels and I use some 812s today. And then also I have some frozen corn that has been thawed. So um, I'm getting started on steaming my king crab. Um, make sure you clean it. So these were previously frozen that we got from our seafood market. Um, and just make sure you clean them up really well because um, there, there's some dirt on there and you don't want to have gritty king crabs. Disgusting. Um, so just balling up some foil, creating um, a little lift so that it's not touching the bottom. And then I'm going to add in one cup of water here um, because I'm using a full size catering pan. But if the smaller the pan, put, put less water um, because you don't want to fill it up on the way. You don't want to boil it. You want to steam your crab. So just cover it all up and put it in the oven at 375 for about 15 minutes. Um, so now I am again just cutting those potatoes into small pieces and so again this is the purpose that we like to have bite-sized pieces and it cooks faster than just keeping them whole but again um, I've seen it done different ways just do whatever works best for you and your family and then oh yes please don't forget to subscribe if you have not already if you have thank you so much for watching um, this is so much fun for me I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I do um, I'm also putting in the sausage and I put this in with the potatoes at the beginning because that sausage flavor permeates those potatoes and that just adds an extra oomph. here I'm dumping in that one small yellow onion and the minced garlic and then I'm going to add in my seasoning blend as well as the Old Bay seasoning. And that's going to create that broth. And you want to cook everything together for about 15 or 20 minutes or until the potatoes are tender. And so this broth is going to be so, so good. Um, and then, yes, a lot of fresh ground pepper. Um, just again, this is going to be such a... Uh, wonderful broth and I do actually go back in and add some additional seasonings um, just for my taste once it kind of gets going so um, just make sure you taste it once it has got had it you know 15 minutes or so to boil and um, adjust according to your taste I did top it off with water and I did spill it so please do not overfill your pot okay so my broth has been going for about 15 minutes and the potatoes are now tender and sliding off of the fork. So I'll throw in that stick of butter and then also put in the thawed out um, corn that I use. If you use fresh corn, I would recommend putting that in um, along with the potatoes because it will need just a little bit more time to cook. But make sure you push that corn down there so it can get um, just basically cooking through, warming it up, and absorbing all that wonderful juice and flavor. And yeah, so I'm going to pull out the king crab and start um, setting up the serving. So this is just an oversized bowl, but I've seen people dump their boils onto a table and just kind of go to town that way, family style. Um, we serve ours out of, you know, individual bowls, we'll have a bowl and pour some broth in there and we use the Bee Love sauce, which was my first time trying it and it was so good. So are y'all ready to eat? Alright, so here is the finished product and the house smelled so amazing. It was so, so good and so easy. 
so i do hope that you guys try this out you can again throw any type of seafood or vegetables whatever floats your boat but a must win you know must try i mean it's quick 30 minutes or so and you're done so thank you so much for watching and don't forget to click that like button as well as subscribe and also hit that notification bell so that you'll be notified when i post a new video for those who are new to the channel, welcome, welcome, welcome. See you next time.